We're spending the day with the service gurus at Norfolk Marine talking about some different maintenance issues. One we haven't touched on yet is a stuck thermostat. Chris, how do I even know if my thermostat is stuck in the first place? Well, one of the easiest signs is you get a high idle and oil dilution. The oil dilution is going to be fuel getting past the rings, finding its way into the oil pan. Oh, when your engine is making oil. That's it. I see. Well, can you show us how to change the thermostat? Sure can. First thing, you just pop the cowling off, set it aside. And on this model here, there's a flywheel cover, no bolts, just a couple rubber plugs, pops right off. Set that aside. And on the uh, 150s, they're located right over here on the side. Take your ratchet with a 10 millimeter. Crack these guys loose. One on the bottom. All right, with all three bolts out, you get the cover out of the way. And the thermostat's right here. And it just pops right out. That's what a new one looks like? That's a new thermostat. There's an old one. That's what they're supposed to look like when they're cold, completely closed, and that one is stuck open. Now, Chris, on every model engine, the thermostat will be located in a different place, right? That's correct. Well, how do I know where to find it? Well, the easiest way is to refer back to the um, service manual for the exact location. If you don't have the service manual, uh, you can go on the internet and Google and find um, the correct model there. So just about all these engines, you can find the service manual on the internet? I haven't found one yet that you couldn't.